Welcome everyone, or welcome back to Daytona for race number 16. Here we go, race fans. Driver, start your engine! Alright, there is your race command. We are ready to race. So Nikolai Sykes and Ash Curtis are your front row starters for tonight's race. So, Nick Hershey has taken over the points lead. But he only leads it by a single point. And Brad Chesson already having troubles. It is a tire for the 29 car. So Chapman has dropped down to second. DJ Curtis with his win at Michigan only gave him one spot. But he's only 45 points back. Rain Dancer dropped a position. He is fourth. Nicholas Jewitt is still in fifth. Ryan Thompson has gained a spot. He is 6th. Cole Sampson drops the position. He is 7th. Stephen Oaks, Flair Main, 8th and 9th remain. And Dylan Eberheimer gains 2 positions, moving up to 10th in the points. Biggest mover, David Davison, gained 7 spots, jumping up to 23rd. Christian Bracken lost the most. He lost 7, dropping him to 29th. Alright, so that is our points rundown for tonight. Okay, so... We are back at Daytona. You know how it is at this track. The big equalizer and all that good stuff, as we already know. Alright, here we go. Waiting on the pace car to pull in. Pace car is in, getting ready to go green. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Alright, top line leading the 6 and the 07. Alexander Rowe leading the bottom line. He's got help from behind. Six car dips low. Whoa, DJ Curtis. Wilcox, oh, Cowell, then he gets turned right across. And that didn't take long at all. Whoa, whoa, hang on to it. Right off the bat, Nikolai Sykes in the 6 will take the yellow flag. All right, first caution of the night. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, take a look here. So Calvin in the middle, DJ on the inside. Brandon Wilcox uh, got a little too close to the 26. They made contact. Then Calvin gets turned. And the 5, the 48, the 88, and then more cars. There's Jordan uh, Newman, or Jordan... How did I forget? It's uh, Jordan Stewart, right? And the 43, big damage there. 42 car, Cole Sampson as well. So several cars involved, but uh, not the big one. Take a look at that again. Let's go on board the 43 car. Yeah, there's already a car on the inside. It was a 2. He gets hit by the 38 as well. Spins him the other way. There's nowhere to go there. 4 Stewart there in the 43 car. Yeah, most of them made it through. Because they weren't really up to speed yet. So. Now we're right on board with the 26 of DJ Curtis. Yeah, he just made the move to the inside. And then, uh. He gets hit from the right. But Calvin goes low a little bit, so. They might have wrecked either way. Calvin just cannot catch a break. Another wreck for him. Probably can't wait for this season to be over. So our first caution of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So Brad Chesson didn't even start the race. 
might have been more than just a tire problem. But uh, Daytona has not been kind to the 29 team. It's been a rough one for them. So, okay, let's try this again. So, 37 cars remaining. Six car out in front. 41, 07, 01, 26, top five. Pace car is in. Here we go. Green flag is waving. We're back underway. So Nikolai Sykes in a six already has one win. Got it early on at Las Vegas. But the six team has been more of a mid-pack driver so far as here they come. Nick Wilcox in the 07, the 01 of Ash Curtis. Got ourselves a new leader here. wide for the race leader looks like Nick Wilcox will still take that lap Mitchell Hodak in the 12 with a big push a lot of help on the inside line Michael Hoax in the 24 in second he desperately needs a good run he needs to win because uh, it is 24 team zero top tens not a single one. Also got caught up in a late race crash in the National Series that brought out the final yellow flag of that race. As here comes Riley Sampson in the 15 to take the take their lead. DJ Curtis on the 26 now on the inside. Parker Smith in the 44. Let's see if he can sweep the Daytona races. He'll be the, the uh, third or fourth driver to do so. He had a good run at the national race as well. Almost won that too. Tim Randolph on a 21 to Dover winner. He leads the inside line. Oh, getting tight. Little contact between the leaders into turn three. See, it's very bumpy using a much more up to date, more accurate Daytona for this series. As Randolph will edge out the 44 to lead that lap. So it's a lot more trickier, gotta be a lot more careful. So they don't have to go four wide, they just gotta be super careful. Three by three by three all the way. Here comes the nine car. The 19 was doing good for a little bit, and then they fell back again. Yeah, the Everham drivers are struggling a little bit. Well, they can bounce back. Oh, well, 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 there they go. In the wall. No, there they go. Now they're around. You know, it's going to happen eventually. Caution flag is out. Racing it back to the stripe. It will be the 21 taking the yellow. All right, second yellow of the night. Let's take a look at the replay. So you can see, into turn three, it gets a little bumpy there. Kind of gets the drivers off course. See, the two car was the first car to get out of line. And they just triggered the wreck. But they hung on to it for a little while. Then they started crashing. Points leader Nick Hershey is also involved. Ryan Thompson, Parker Smith, Michael Hoax in a 24. There's Bracken in a 31 who had tire issues in the national race. The 07. DJ Curtis is in it. Here comes the rest of the field. Some of the other slower drivers, but they were able to avoid it. Yeah, this uh, bumpy part is definitely going to be an issue tonight. Already has been. Trick of the. So far, they're both cautioned so far. 
So, a lot of cars involved, but I uh, wouldn't exactly call it the big one. Look at the old one of Ash Curtis and Jimmy Fox, and great save there by the old one. So, yeah. DJ Curtis in the 26. He was sideways for a while, too. Let's ride on board with him. He's on the outside line, pounds the outside wall, sideways there, gone to the 24, then around he went. Well, not, not completely, actually. He just went for a small skid, and that was it. Take a look at this once more. On board the 24. I think he avoided the most of the major damage, the major hits. He gets hit by the right side. That forces him into Nick Hershey. He does hit the wall, outside wall again. Or not again. Does hit it with the outside wall. And, of course, it doesn't take much here. Daytona has even the slightest contact can slow you down. No draft will save you. 20 car did a great job avoiding it, it looks like. Just made it through. So I might get a few retirees, I would say maybe three or four are done for the night. Alright, so let's take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So 34 drivers remaining. So Bracken, Thompson, and Rowe are out of the race. So, yep, three of the four drivers, I said, so pretty accurate I guess but anyways that's uh, back to the race here Tim ran off in the 21 hoping for a second win and that'll be an incredible feat we already know his season getting one so far has been a uh, a huge accomplishment but they still are last on the points they want to get out of that at least pace cars in here we go Green flag is waving. We're back on the way. Chapman in the 55 running in third. The 9 car not going to waste any time to the inside he goes. As well as the 01. Three wide here, the 11 car goes top to bottom, fills that gap in between, just in time with Jimmy Fox and a second later and around that 11 car could go. Night car's got a little damage to the inside, but he seems to be all right. What about the others? Oh, caution. Okay, I wasn't expecting a yellow. Alright, 10 laps remaining here at Daytona now. Tim Randolph takes the third caution flag. We'll take a look at the replay. So, take a look here. Three wide. Sampson came down on the 24. And of course, slides right back in front of the field. Nick Hershey. The Lightning Blaze. Mitch Hodak. Pulled it all his can. Got collected. 45's got heavy damage here. So not a good night for the 45. A short-lived points lead, but can always get it back as we know, of course. So yep, yeah, this scenario, we've seen it before. Car gets turned, down on the banking, slides back up in front of traffic. Hard to avoid. So that's going to definitely take out the 45 car. He is done for the night. 12 car, 15 maybe, 18-2. They should be okay. And yeah. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So, 24 car, Michael Hoax. Bad gone to worse. A piston has broke on that 24 team. I uh, was hoping for a good run tonight. Got caught up in that crash. Just trying to salvage whatever, but then, event, but then the piston decides to give up. So he is still, he's the only driver without one, without a top 10. 39th at the moment, at least he's not last. But here we go, getting ready to go green here. Pace car is coming in. Green flag is waving, back underway.
Eric Monaco in the 19 team. It might be a must win tonight, or maybe not a must win, but it'd be great for them to win. We talked about early in the season how consistent they were. Eric Monaco lost five spots. He's dropped to 15th in points. So they need to start picking this up if they want to get back in the fight. So a top five finish, at least. Here goes the 11 to the inside. For the race lead here, five laps remaining. Jimmy Fox in an 83 could pull off a big upset victory. Brown Rodriguez in the seven is there as well in third. The 10 car, the forgotten Everham car, Sam Curtis. It's been a rough one for Sam Curtis here, but uh, we know in the Nationals, he is a championship contender. Eleven cars out there for a couple car lengths. Not ideal here at Daytona as we know it. Three wide. Roush teammates on the inside. Yeah, it's going to get a little dicey here, isn't it? Let's see if they can hang on. Nicholas Chuit in the 14. There's a 40 of Stephen Oaks as well on the inside. There's the 8 car, who was part of that uh, slower pack, got held up by those slow cars, but now he's back in the mix. The 99 car now to the race lead. Coming to three laps to go. Three laps to go. The 99 still searching for redemption there. He ran good at the Glen, but couldn't get it done. Had a big help from the 16, but now he is out there. He's a sitting duck. Well, if they wreck behind him, then that's it. He'll get the win. Three wide, three rows deep. Taking each other some space here. Oh, a little bit there. Oh, the 16's around. Can they save it? Almost. Yep, they did. They kept it straight. We stay green. Two laps to go. Now they're all spread out. There goes Tim Randolph. He's going to make his move now. He's not going to wait. Quickly clears the 99. Still, still there. The 14. There's a 40. Stephen Oaks. He moves to the inside with no help. And here they come to the white flag. The 99 all over the back bumper of Tim Randolph. He wants that win. Jui to the inside. Still remains in third. One lap to go here. We will have a finish tonight. Here goes the 99. Tim Randolph going to try to block here. Oh, it's going to be a tough block. He can't do it. Side by side. Here comes the rest. The 14. Going to go with the 99. He's looking. Oh, goes back to the top. Back to the inside. Sam Curtis is going to make the move then. Three wide for second. He waited too long. Sam Curtis, can he get there? He's closing in, actually. To the inside there. Tim Randolph. Oh, the 40 car goes around. They're wrecking, coming to the line. The 99 with the block. Checkered flag. Mew will take the win at Daytona as they crash. Coming to the stripe. And these guys are right to get up against the wall to get by to avoid the crash. Car is still scattering everywhere. Watch Monaco. Oh, the six car. Oh, they didn't avoid the six. Wow, what a finish right there at the end. 
It's been a while since we had a crash coming to the line here at Daytona. Alright, let's take a look at the forest results. So there you have it, Patrick Mew, the race winner tonight, finally got one back. Sam Curtis in the 10, almost got it there. The 99 with a good block, but I don't think uh, he didn't need to do that. Still had the he didn't have enough momentum. Lucas Jowith in the 14, finishing third. He was pretty close, but a strong run. But had to get the that win maybe. Or anyways, Ash Curtis getting fourth. Ryan Butcher fifth. Brian Rodriguez sixth. The nine team seventh. Lightning Blaze eight. Jimmy Fox in ninth, and Colin Cropley tenth. Here are the rest of the race results. 31 drivers finished the race. And uh, we got to take a look at that rack at the end. Coming to the line. Okay, that's old school right there. The 07. Nick Wilcox hooks the back end of Tim Randolph. Randolph gets into the 40 and the 01. They get into the wall there. The 8 car gets clipped. From the quarter panel. Then there's a 6. The 19. All coming to the line. The 55. Drivers on the outside, getting through, able to nab a top 10 finish thanks to that crash. Oh, the 07, oh, almost flipped. That would have been almost like the 07 Daytona 500. So, okay, alright, so from the second TV camera. Having a wreck at it, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a classic finish. In a way. Although we don't really get too many of those. Coming to the line. In through the trial like that. No flips though. Almost had one there at the end. Tim Randolph his car is just destroyed. At least he finished. He got 11th so. He doesn't get a second top 10. That's right on board with him. Oh, he's, he was on his way to a top 5 finish. And then. Right off a of 4 he gets hooked. Into the 40. Back across. Oaks wasn't at that uh, certain point where that tips the car over. He just gets bounced around, hit everywhere. And you know, they're all just trying to push through, trying to finish the race. That didn't exactly work out there for some drivers as they were unable to get into the top 10 or got out of the top 10. And Tim Randolph, he was second. On the white flag lap. Oh, look at the 11. Just going through. Uh, luckily, these two, the 16 and the 11, they saved their cars from wrecking. So we could have this great finish. And there's... Whoa! Parker Smith either got turned into six car. Ends up uh, being Hodak and Max Anderson. They're on the apron of the racetrack. Hodak trying to get back up there. Trying to force his way to the top. He should have just cut through the grass instead. That would have been a lot better. But yeah, pretty wild finish. The 99 it was able to hang on for the race win. Had cars everywhere, but uh, it still managed to, uh, to hold them off. Then had a wreck there at the end. Alright, so there you have it. There's the rest of the race results. Once again, Brad Justin, as we know, 43rd or 42nd, had a tire issue. Did not start the race. Alright, so that is it here tonight at uh, Daytona. Well, I'll take you to Victory Lane.